Hello guys, this is a video tutorial by MCV Digital, and today I'm going to do something really quick, but it's something that I've wanted to put up for a while. It's how to make somewhat of a cursive animation in Flash, like the intro that you just saw. And basically what it is, is just an animation of masking in Flash, and it's very simple, it's very quick and easy, and I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, write what you're going to want to make into a cursive animation. So I'm going to go grab my text tool. And I'm just going to type one letter just to make this a really simple and quick tutorial. I'm just going to write the letter S right there. And that's just a very simple thing to do, just the letter S. And then now I'm going to come down to my timeline. If your timeline isn't down here or anywhere on your stage, go to Window and go to Timeline or press Control-Alt-T. Whoops, I accidentally closed it by pressing it. Alright, now that I've got my timeline open, this is layer 1, this is the layer that we have the letter on, S, which, what you're going to want to do is rename this letter by double clicking it and call it text, and then make a new layer by clicking this one right here, the folder button, then now what you're going to want to do is name this layer mask, whoops. And you don't have to name them the same things that I do, this is just what I would name them. And right here where it says the mask layer, make sure it's not on the bottom of the text layer. You have to make sure that it's on top of the text layer. And now what you're going to want to do is click on the mask layer and right click it. And click on where it says mask. And as you can see now the mask layer is masking the text layer. But the text disappeared. Where did it go? It just disappeared. Well, it didn't actually disappear. When you click the mask button, it automatically locks the layers. And one of those, when you lock them, you also can't see them. So I'm going to unlock them. Now that I've unlocked it, you can see the S now. And so, so I'm going to begin already with the, um, how to do the animation. Click on the text layer and click on frame 1. And I'm just going to click on frame 70 and I'm going to press F6. Well, actually, it's not going to really take that many frames to do this, so um, I'm going to select all of these. And I'm going to hold Shift and press F5 to delete them, and probably it's only going to take me until frame 20, the 25. So I'm going to click on frame 25 right here under the number 25, and I'm going to press F6 on my keyboard. Now, as you can see, um, all these frames have the letter S on them. And so now come back and click on the mask layer. Then click on frame 1 and go to your brush tool. And go to your paint bucket and you're going to want to choose a very bright color to use. I'm just going to use a bright green. You can use red, yellow, it doesn't matter what color you use. I'm just going to use a nice bright green. I'm going to make it to the full brush size. Make sure you're on frame 1. And now what you're going to want to do is actually cover the S with the brush tool. And in context, when you're covering it, it's going to show it, which is something weird. I didn't get it either, but um, you'll get it um, as when we far, um, the farther we go on. So first, you're just going to want to draw a little line or a little fill, a little space with your brush that's covering a part of the S. Well, actually, when people draw S's, they start at the top mostly so I'm gonna just do it start at the top as you can see that's gonna be the part that it's gonna show first and now press F6 come down here click frame 2 or the next frame and press F6 and now do it with the next um, part that's showing then come down here click and press F6 and just keep on doing that until you cover the whole S and the reason why we're doing it little by little is so that it's gonna make an animation as you can see right there it's going to make sort of an animation of it showing um, instead of it all just appearing at once so click F6 click F6 click F6 and we're just going to do this until we cover the entire S or all the letters and we're almost done over here at the end and that didn't take too many frames and as you can see now it is somewhat of a cursive animation actually I'm just gonna bring this out one layer, I'm gonna select all of these and bring them out one layer 
And there it is. It's a cursive animation of the S being drawn. Very simple, very easy, but very effective. And um, this is just a really good tutorial to know for any type of animation. You can also do this with any picture that you've drawn. Like if you draw a picture of a plant or a flower, you can also do this to make it look like it's growing onto the stage. This is just a very nice tip to know. Um, I figured this out right now when I was testing out with Flash, and I wanted to put this on YouTube just for a video because I haven't done one in probably like four days and usually I put videos up every like two days because I'm a um, flash addict or a computer addict so thank you for watching this was a video tutorial by MCV Digital and um, remember if you still have any questions comment and just subscribe I need more subscribers because I want to become a partner so I can put up videos longer than ten minutes yeah so, thank you for watching. See you guys later. This was MCB Digital. Peace. Wait, what?